Sure is hot. Nice inside that cab, though. You thirsty, Chris? Oh, I'm thirsty. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Right here. I got it for you, buddy. Look at that. Loader tube storage right there. Guys, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Today we have a really quick tip for you because we're all looking for more storage on our tractors. You can see here on this Kubota B-Series or even all the way up here on the little 1025R, this is just rinky-dink storage here, you know? And if you look back at the cab tractor there as well, there's not even a toolbox to be found on that. You just have some cubbies on the fenders inside of the cab station. So I touched on this subject in a video last spring, I think it was, top 10 hidden things on tractors. That's what the video was called. So anyway, this is specifically about the, the loader storage tube that's on there. I finally got around to taking some dimensions and going to uh, the local store here. They didn't have everything I needed, so I had to order some stuff off Amazon as well, different sizes, because I've got a lot of tractors out here, so I wanted to try different sizes, and the tubes that are on the tractors themselves or on the front end loaders are all a different size, of course. What this storage solution is for in your loader tube is gonna be for things like chain. It could be drinks, it could be rags, it could be small tools. It really depends on the diameter of that tube, on what you can fit in there, but really, the space is there already. You just plug it on the end. Now, some guys are getting really fancy or deluxe, just a lot handier than I am to be honest. They'll put PVC tubes in there. I did take some dimensions. I, I took the ODs of all the different PVC tubes that were out there. I couldn't get any of them to fit uh, or align just right with the tubes that I had here on the loaders. However, I saw some kind of after the fact when I was doing some more research where guys would either just cut you know, the, the PVC long ways all the way out so it was more flexible and pliable and could kind of fit into a smaller space or they just cut the whole top half of it off or just different things. So there's other solutions out there. This is just to get those wheels turning for you. So we're gonna go through that today and just check out a few of the different loader sizes, see how easy it is just to put one of these on. There's a lot more complicated or complex or creative ways to do it. This is the simplest of all of those solutions. So these are just a PVC test plug. So it's just something just depending on the size. This one here is a two and a half inch. This is a three inch. Some of them are gonna say, there it is, three inch on this one right here. But all you do is you just tighten it down. You don't wanna tighten it down until you put it inside the tube. At that point, you can tighten it down. The red kind is a little bit different setup. Uh, where if it's loose, you're going to see it has like an inner and outer disc, uh, the outside cap here, and then the inside, and then, then a rubber ring inside here, which is going to be, I guess, the part that provides the seal. And so as you tighten it down, that inner disc is pulled closer or sandwiching that piece of rubber in between there and just tightening it up. Pretty cool concept, really, and really easy to use. So really, this is something for 10, 20 bucks, something like that. You can actually find more usable space on your tractor, which really is at a premium. So I'm going to put links below if you do want to get these on Amazon. If you don't have the hardware store that has these right around the corner, just look below in the description. You'll find the information, the different sizes. All you got to do again, just measure your diameter right here. You'll figure out the size that you need. A lot of them are going to say right on here, but they'll at least say in the description of what size it is that you're going to be buying. If you like what you see here, consider hitting that like button under the video. There's also a subscribe button right by it. Subscribing would really help out the channel. Don't forget to read through that description below where you can buy these test plugs and other cool stuff for your tractor and watch the other videos on the channel. There could be some other cool stuff that you haven't seen yet. Well, until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.